In this video, I will show you another example of RMS value. This is the last example. Determine the RMS value of the following current waveform in figure. See, this is our given waveform and from this waveform, we have to calculate the RMS value of the current. To calculate the RMS value of the current, we use this formula. Root over area of the squared waveform over full cycle divided by the period of the squared waveform. And to calculate the RMS value, we will follow these five steps. At first, we will determine the period of the given waveform. If we look at the given current waveform, we will see from this 0 to 2 second, we will have this triangle. And from this 2 to 4 second, we will have this rectangle. And if we look between 0 to 4 seconds, we will see we will have triangle and rectangle. And in the upcoming cycles, we will get the repetition of this triangle and this rectangle. Therefore, the time period t will be equal to 4 in case of the given current waveform. So, time t will be equal to 4 second after that we will express the waveform into its equational form over full cycle this waveform consists of a triangle and a rectangle over full cycle in my previous example i showed you how to write down the equation of current See, from 0 to 2 second, our current is increasing linearly. Therefore, we can express the current equation with a straight line equation y equal to mx plus c. As the y intersect is 0, c will be equal to 0. In the x axis, we are taking time. In the y axis, we are taking current i. Now, what will be the slope of this straight line? See, this is our origin, 0, 0. What will be the coordinate of this point? This is 2 and this is 10. So, x coordinate will be 2, y coordinate will be 10. The slope of this straight line will be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. See here, y2 is 10, x2 is 2, x1 is 0, y1 is 0. So here I will get 10 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 0 which is equal to 5. So our instantaneous current equation I will be equal to 5 T for T equal to 0 to 2 second. Okay. After that we will see this rectangle from 2 to 4 seconds. Now see, from 2 to 4 seconds, our current will maintain a constant value of minus 10 ampere. It is like a DC quantity. Therefore, for T, 2 to 4 seconds, we will get minus 10. This will be the equation of current over full cycle. I will be equal to 5t for t equal to 0 to 2 and minus 10 for t time 2 to 4. Okay. After that, we will take the square of the waveform by taking the square of the equation. See this i equal to 5t or minus 10 indicates the given current equation. Okay, i. After in the third step, we will take the square of this equation. That means we will take i square. As the equation i equal to 
5t and 10 represents this current waveform therefore if i if i say i take the square of this waveform by taking the square of the current equation both of them will indicate the same thing so in third step i will get i square it will be 25 t square 40 t less than 2 greater than 0 and this minus 10 will be minus 10 square so i will get 100 for time interval 2 to 4 second so i am done with step number 3 after that i will calculate the area under the squared wave form over full cycle by integrating the squared wave form over full cycle see this is our squared wave form and if i want to take the integration of this i square t i will get the area under the squared wave form over full cycle which will quantify this value area under the squared wave form over full cycle how do we get that here the interval is 0 to 4 second i will take the square of the waveform which is represented by this equation i square t dt and here we know that from 0 to 2 second we will get i square equal to 25 t square and from 2 to 4 second it will be 100 dt so from here i can write down 25 t cube over 3 lower limit 0 upper limit 2 plus 100 t lower limit 2 upper limit 4 this will be equal to 25 into 2 cube or 8 divided by 3 plus 100 into 4 minus 2 this will be equal to 66.67 plus 200 which will be equal to 266.67 so area under the square waveform over full cycle will be equal to 266.67 and the period of the squared waveform or the period of the waveform will be 4 second this will be equal to sixty six point six seven ampere therefore rms value of the current will be equal to eight point one six five ampere rms value of current irms is equal to eight point one six five ampere that's it thank you